Sports fans and baseball fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here again with another game in my um, 1980 Pirates replay on Out of the Park Baseball. So we got a series that we're in the middle of right now against the Mets. Let's take a look at the standings right now as they are coming into this game. The Mets are somehow leading the NL East because the New York Mets of 1980, between you and me and anybody that knows anything about baseball, were not a good team. I've got the Pirates at 21 and 22, a game under 500, which is roughly about what they did um, it projected out to the entire season. I think they were like something like 82 and 80, something like that. Um, so we're right in the ballpark of where we should be. But the Mets, the Mets are not. So hopefully we will actually beat the Mets. Meet the Mets, beat the Mets, beat up on the Mets is what we need to do. So... That's where we are. You can see where we are. Um, the, the Expos were a very good team. The Cubs weren't bad. I mean, everybody else, I think, is kind of falling in line. I'm not really sure how bad St. Louis was. Of course, really, the worst team in the East Division in 1980 was the Mets. So they're completely, or, or at least if they weren't the worst, they were right down near the bottom. So um, we will get on with the game. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the manager's office. We're ranked 19th out of 26 teams in the power rankings, so that's not very good. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, we will get on with the game. Let's, let's not dilly-dally anymore. We're going to get on with the game. So here we go. I got a, some lineup changes I have to make or some lineup additions. We're missing something. Uh, well, we've got some guys that are also bordering on getting tired. So um, let's put Bill Robinson in at left to give. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, to give Lee Lacey a day off. And uh, Easler is, he's getting, he's getting a little dogged. Um, we'll put in Craig Kasich for him. And uh, they've got a righty going, so I'll, well, no, that's about, yeah, that's about what I want. Um, I think that, that looks good. Uh, but I am still missing somebody. What am I missing? I have all the outfielders. Shorts, no. Third base, no. Second base, no. What am I missing here? Um, the pitcher would automatically be the ninth. Oh, catcher again. I'm missing a catcher. So we will put in uh, Tony. No, no, we're going to put in Cliff Johnson. I'm going to catch Cliff Johnson. And we will move him up in the lineup a little bit. Um, Phelps is a left-handed hitting first baseman against a right-handed. Uh, yeah, we yeah we want that. Yeah, we want as many lefties as we can get. Although we do have to give the rest time to the guys that are getting dogged. So, um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put in Dale Barra at shortstop for Foley, uh, if I can. Let's see. There we go. All right, and we, on the mound, we have Jim Bibby. So I think we're ready now. 
ready to take on the Mets, and they've got Mookie Wilson at the plate against Jim Bibby. And he's 5-2 and two with a 4-12 earned run average on the season. And that should be a ground out, and it is. So there's one down. Let's see what's so good about these Mets that it somehow has a team that should not be anywhere near first place in first place. Steve Henderson is up against Bibby, and they decided to walk him. Bibby decided to walk him. Well, that didn't come from me. And that will be a force at second, fielder's choice, and the inning is over, and we step up against Pat Zachary with Omar Moreno. And he's going to be out. A little roller to first base. Bill Madlock, Mad Dog, up at the plate. And he's going to fly out, it looks like, unless they drop it, which doesn't happen often in 1980 baseball. Craig Kasek, up at the plate. They walk him. Nice. So that brings up... Ken Phelps, left-handed hitting, power hitting first baseman, laces a nice base hit, but can't quite uh, get the runner over to third. Cliff Johnson is up at the plate, and Cliff Johnson is going to fly out to the wall. Well, we, we made a good, uh, a nice attempt at it right there, but no runs. And that's going to be a ground out to first for one down really quickly here in the second. And that's going to be a ground out to second. Got a clean bullpen. Everybody should be pretty well rested out in the bullpen because Candelaria pitched a shutout last game. Runner on, two outs here in the second. And that will be the third out of the inning. And up steps our main men, the Pittsburgh Pirates of 1980, with Phil Garner, scrap iron up at the plate. And he's going to pop out. And that brings up Bill Robinson. Bill Robinson, on replacing Lacey, gets a base hit. And here comes Vance Law. And Vance Law walks. Pretty good. One out, two on. We unfortunately have Bibby up, but let's see if Bibby can get something here. No, he strikes out. And that brings in Omar Moreno. And Omar Moreno gets a base hit. Can the run score? I'm going to send him. I'm sending him. Oh, I don't know about that. Yes, he's safe. Good. Thanks. So we do have a run. We're on the board here against Pat Zachary with Bill Mad Dog Madlock up. And he's going to lace one right into the gap. And we've got, I'm going to say yes, whatever. And I guess we were out. So, but we did get the two runs uh, after that. The game froze up there momentarily. One down. <clears throat> We got Bibby a three-run lead now. Two down. He's pitching like a champ here. And that's going to be a base hit, though, for the Mets. Runner at first, two down, Steve Henderson up. And he's out. So that's the inning. And up come the Pirates with a 3 nothing lead and Craig Kasich at the plate. Craig Kasich. Nice. Base hit for the man. We've got Ken Phelps up. Power hitting first baseman. Let's see if he can jack one. No, but he does walk. I'll take it. 
Cliff Johnson up. Normally, I would bunt with a guy here if he was a decent bunter, but I don't think Cliff Johnson really was. And he hit into a double play. Even worse. And Phil Garner's up. Could use a key hit here, Phil. And he's going to get it. It's 4 nothing. 4 nothing Pirates. Love this. We can even our record at 22-22 and 22 if we can win this game. Billy Robinson's up, and he's going to be out. But it's 4 nothing going to the top of the fourth. Bibby on the, uh, you can see on the uh, bar here, he's still in pretty good shape. He's still got a lot of gas in the tank. But he walks the leadoff batter. I don't know what was going on there. That's going to be a ground out possible double play, and it is. Two down. And let's see if he can get this guy, and it looks like he does. Ground out to the shortstop. Dale Bear throws him out, and it's 4 nothing Pirates. As we go to the bottom of the fourth, Pat Zachary's still out there, even though we've, uh, we've dragged him around pretty good. Vance Law looks like he's going to fly out, though. Jim Bibby up. Jim Bibby is going to fly out to center. And that brings up Omar Moreno. And Omar gets a base hit. I might try to steal Omar Moreno. See if he does it. No, no, he couldn't get a lead. A uh, little chopper out in front of the plate, and he's thrown out. So, Madlock failed to uh, get a base hit. And uh, Ron Gardenhire is batting against Bibby. Ron Gardenhire, who went on to manage the Twins and also the Detroit Tigers, less famously. Um, Doug Flynn. Doug Flynn up at the plate. Great story about uh, Doug Flynn is um, they asked Bill, or Bill James said that people often say that Doug Flynn has, um, how did he say it? Um, I, you know, I forget. I'm drawing a blank on it. Um, but anyway, if it comes to me, I will, I will relay it on. But Craig Kasich is up at the plate. Craig Kasich with his second hit. And that brings up Ken Phelps. Ken Phelps, one man aboard, and he walks. Phelps, I think that's the second walk that he's uh, drawn in this game. Cliff Johnson is up. And with now only one down, Phil Garner up at the plate and getting a base hit. And the hit parade continues for the Pirates. And uh, Bill Robinson is up. And he strikes out. And Tom Hausman now is out there pitching for the Mets. I didn't notice whether he had started this inning or not. But anyway, Vance Law up at the plate. And that is it. All right, so Bibby is going to deal to Mookie Wilson. And that story escapes me. I cannot think of, there's a certain word I was trying to think of that Bill James used to describe Flynn. Although he did say that, I do remember him saying that um, Doug Flynn was a terrible Major League Baseball player. Although it bears mentioning that he said terrible Major League Baseball player. Because obviously if you make it to the Major Leagues, at some point, you were a very good baseball player at lower levels. So, um, I've also seen reports in the past that said that Doug Flynn was the uh, worst 
regular player ever to play Major League Baseball. Now, I don't know about that. Again, we got a nice hit there. Is that Bibby? Did Bibby get that? My God, Bibby had a double. That is awesome. So, yeah, we got Moreno up. Now, Moreno can bunt, so I'm going to bunt with Moreno. And Bibby gets the third. Nice. Now, generally, I don't like doing that, but I knew that Moreno was is probably a very good bunter, and we now have a runner just 90 feet away with only one out. So, mad lock up. And he hits it right up the middle, and now it is six nothing Pirates. I don't honestly, I don't know how this Mets team is so far has ended up in first place in this division. There's an out, so that's two down, and Ken Phelps up. And now we've got two runners on, two down. Cliff Johnson up. And Cliff Johnson is out because of a great play in center field. But it's 6 nothing, and Bibby is still, as you can see, still got a lot of gas in the tank. Seventh inning. I may not even need the bullpen. I mean, it really, he's had such easy work of it, he may be able to go the distance, although there's a base hit. And that brings up John Stearns. Everybody remembers John Stearns, right? And he, there's a fly out, and that's two down, with a man at first, and Ron Garden higher again. Up at the plate, and he's out. And now we have Phil Garner up at the plate, and he is going to be out. Upstep or Hosman is pitching and upsteps Bill Robinson. Man, I got to, you know what? I've got to put in uh, backups more often because uh, we're really having a great game here. And it gave those guys who were getting dogged, it gave them a rest. Vance Law up at the plate. And he's going to, he's got a nice deep fly ball there, but it's still an out. We go to the top of the eighth. Bibby, again, not showing any signs of wear here. Man aboard and Wally Backman up. Wally Backman now, is he out? Yeah, he is. All right. So we got a runner at second, one down. Mookie Wilson up. And Mookie Wilson is out. And that brings up Joel Youngblood. Joel Youngblood hitting a deep fly ball. Six nothing Pirates. Ed Glynn on the pitch for the Mets. And Jim Bibby batting because I'm going to try to get him through the game. May not work, but I'm going to try. But Bibby flies out to center. Got good wood on that ball, too. Omar Moreno up. He's going to lace a base hit. And uh, Bill, Bill Madlock up. Mad Dog. Mad Dog going the other way, but hits into a double play. So let's see if we can... Get Bibby through this game. I mean, the bar, you know, he really shouldn't be hitting the red. Well, maybe he will if he allows too many men on. Lee Mazzilli up, man aboard. That could be a double play. It isn't. They decided not to throw to first. Um, Elliot Maddox is up. I remember Elliot Maddox, too. I mean, I remember all these guys, which is exactly why I don't know why the Mets are so good. But anyway, I think that was it, and we won. Six nothing. Checking out that box score, man. Kasich was two for three with a walk. 
Kasich, incidentally, this is 1980. I think I looked Kasich up, and he actually, his career ended in 79. I don't think he played in 1980. But in Out of the Park, players play as long as whatever the game says they play based on how they do and sit the situation. So um, look at that line by Bibby. Nine innings pitched, only four hits and three walks. He only allowed seven men on in nine innings and is six and two for us with a 353. So if we go to the standings and we've got a um, putting up zeros, date of achievement. Yeah, first time Jim Bibby had a shutout. So we'll finish the day and then a uh, personal message. What do we got here? Enrique Romo. Uh, interesting stuff going on here. Okay, yeah, this is just my scouts updating um, ratings on various players. Uh, Enrique Romo's stuff dropped from a 60 to a 55, and his potential control ratings dropped from 65 to 60. Anyway, you can take a look at some of that stuff. Um, yeah, Foley getting worse. I mean, it's and it's really you know when they let me know this stuff, it's usually always bad news. But anyway, we'll go to the standings and take a look at those before we get off here. So yeah, we're now we're 22 and 22. Five and a half games back. And um, the Expos are now within a game of the Mets because we've been beaten up on them. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.